MMA Plus here at Cage Warriors 68 in Liverpool with the piping hot chocolate, <laughs> Danny Roberts. <laughs> you just knocked out Jim Wallhead, which no one's done for almost 10 years now. How, how are you feeling? I'm feeling on top of the world. I don't think there's anything that can really explain or describe how I feel right now. Um, <laughs> I'm just like, like I say, it's a little bit of a euphoric feeling. Um, I'm on top of the world right now and it's just the best, the best thing ever. It did look like Jim was back to proper gym all head, putting on a bit of a clinic on the ground, but you remained calm, you got up. It looked like you may have rocked from, from one shot and then shaking it off. What were you thinking going through the fight? Yeah, admittedly, the, the, the first time I managed to lay my hands on him, um, I seen him get a little bit shook and it, it was a little bit of a surprise to me because I know I possess power and I've obviously come from a boxing background. I knew that it'd be one of the positional places that I, I, I would be obviously strong and I would dominate. Um, and I was looking to stand up throughout the whole fight and as soon as I seen that, I did hit him and then he sort of dove in for the, for the double leg. I, I did think that he'd use a lot more kicks than what he did. Um, I don't think he threw one throughout, throughout the, obviously the first round. Um, but yeah, no, without a shadow of doubt, that's where I felt most confident as soon as I was on the feet with him and to be able to let my hands go and I just thought it'd only be a matter of time before I can sort of wear him down and if there was any, if there was going to be any sort of stoppage, it would be from that position. Do you think tonight you've made the, the real transition from being a, a really exciting, highly touted up-and-comer to a real challenger name now? I mean, you've just taken that scalp after all. Yeah, definitely. Like I say, obviously I was ranked at number six, I've gone up to number two now, obviously with, with, with Jimmy being in that place. Um, it's 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 the biggest the biggest moment of my career. Do you know what I mean? And I, I can't I can't fault what I've done in in a little space of time. I've done four years. You know I mean, I've come a long way. Um, I'm happy with the the team that I've got, the support, the backing. Everything's been perfect. So it's it's all coming together for me. And to be able to take on Jimmy Waller tonight and to be able to beat him, I've got I've got a lot of respect for him. He's he's a nice um, he's a gentleman. Do you know what I mean? Um, we we both both had a little bit of a, a chat in the weigh-ins and that, and he comes across that well. Do you know what I mean? I, I like. It's, it's just literally, literally down to the sport to be able to take on Jimmy and to be able to come on top and beat him the, the way that I did. It's, it's just amazing. You know what I mean, and I just like it's, it's, it's proof to myself um, more than anything that I'm ready and I can do this. To earn a decision over Jim Wallhead is one thing, but to knock him out is, is a lot more. Is this as big as any title fight you could have had at the moment? Yeah, definitely. Without a shadow of doubt, because like you say, J Jimmy, Jimmy hasn't been stopped, and it, it's it's kind of like um, it's, it's been a while. Since, since he's ever been put through, through something like that and yeah. to, to, for, for me to be able to do that um, being 10 and 1 um, being an up and comer being ranked below him it, it was just amazing and, and it, it was kind of like one of the moments that I wanted to, to get off from, from the start of this fight camp I was always visualising I was dreaming about stopping Jimmy I didn't want it to go the distance and to be able to do that in the first round for me was just proof in the pudding that if I put my mind and body to it I can do it You could argue that the Cage Warriors welterweight division is one of the most exciting divisions outside of the UFC a lot of young names as well. Where do you see yourself in the division now and what do you want next from it? Yeah, without a shadow of that, I see myself at the top, do you know what I mean? And I've, I've got, like I say, I've got a lot of respect for the things that I'm, I'm capable of. Um, I class myself as a pro professional athlete and I now class myself as a, a, a true mixed martial artist. I've got things I need to work on, I need to go back and I'm, I'm, I'm far from the, the complete, like say, complete athlete, but at the same time, it's, it's, um, it's one of them. I've only been doing it for four years and I, I know I'm just going to keep on growing and getting better and stronger and I'm excited for the future. Do you want the champion next? Um, I'll have whoever Cage Warriors gives me. I, I, like I say, I'm, I feel physically and mentally ready for anything. So we're going to go back, we'll, we'll have, have uh, talks about what's next and, and then we'll go from there and, and obviously sign contracts and get, get the next fight up and going. Excellent. Congratulations again. Thanks for your time. This is MA Plus, Cage Warriors 68.